welcome everybody to my latest video. I got a few requests from a couple of individuals who basically have acquired their first arcade cabinet and they wanted to know a little bit more about what goes on inside their cab. Uh, one person uh, asked me a little bit about the JAMA harness. I believe they actually said in their email, uh, what the heck is with all the wires? Well, inside your cabinet, a good 95% of the wires you see are connected to your JAMA harness. This is your 56-pin JAMA harness, and JAMA stands for Japan Amusement Machinery Manufacturers Association. Now, why is that important? Well, it's really not. But back when arcade cabinets first came out, back in those old days, what happened was each arcade uh, game had not only had, of course, its own game, but also had its own set of particular uh, wiring. Uh, one company would do their wires one way, another company would do their wires another way. So it was actually kind of expensive. It wasn't as easy as it is now to s just swap out a game. Uh, a good, huge, 99% majority of games, arcade games, um, that you you own, that you probably could own, use this harness. And it's real simple. This is a harness. This particular unit right here is a single slot Neo Geo board. Uh, but PCBs, for the most part, will have this. And this is where you connect your harness. And as you can see, it just slides in real easy. Now, why does it need to connect to it? Well, think of it as the, the harness would be like the bloodstream of the human body. It connects pretty much everything together. So when you connect your harness to your PCB, what happens is these wires will allow video to go from the uh, PCB to your monitor. or allow sound to go from here to your speakers. Now, the harness itself is basically like an adapter with all these wires. And each one of these wires does something different. Uh, you got a ground wire. You actually have a couple ground wires. Uh, another one of these uh, wires will go to player one button number one. Another one is player two button number one. Um, another wire is for the coins. Another for up, down, left, right, etc. So each one of these wires does something different. And as you can see it's two sets. You got a set of wires on this side and a set of wires on this side. One side is called the solder side. The other is the part side. And let me uh, show you a website that I use. It gives a detailed chart of the JAMA, um, of basically what each one of these wires does. So here's the website. Okay, so now that you've seen the website, you can see uh, under JAMA connector chart, uh, it's pretty detailed. It shows you what each one of these wires represents. And this particular one, I don't know if you can see it, but that one is like for button number one, uh, button number two, button number three, etc. You got your voltage. Um, I know the 12 volts right there, that's uh, for speakers. Uh, you got um, positive um, 5 volts, etc. And this particular one seems to be written in Japanese. Uh, I can't tell since I don't read Japanese, but um, for the most part they're all the same. You can buy a JAMA connector real cheap. They cost probably about five bucks or so. Or, excuse, sorry. Um, anywhere between five to fifteen dollars depending on where you go. Um, at least that's the price I've been getting them for. Uh, one place you might try is JAMAboards.com. Anyways, so basically what this does is it allows um, everything to be connected together. Now, although the arcade games use the 56-pin harness, uh, some of the newer games use something in addition to this. Now, the harness right here has, for player 1 and player 2, 
uh, wires that go for button number one, button number two, button number three, and button number four. So if you know Neo Geo games, they use four buttons. So this is perfect. This is all you need. Now you may be wondering, well, what about games like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, which use five or six buttons? Well, in addition to this, they also use something that's sort of like this. This is what's called a kick harness or a JAMA Plus harness. So for Capcom games that use six buttons, each player uses buttons one, two, and three from this and buttons four, five, and six from the external um, kick harness. This particular one is a CPS-1 kick harness, so this is uh, good for like um, Street Fighter 2. Now, just because all f you can use up to four buttons on here, not all PCBs use every single button. For example, the Namco 246 and 256 systems, they only use buttons number one and two from here, and they use buttons three and four from a JAMA Plus harness. So, each one varies a little bit, um, but it's not too hard to figure out. So basically, this 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 is your main um, wiring. This is you know 95% of your wires all gets connected here, and you can see it's cut right here. Uh, when you get these, there's usually about five or six feet of wiring. So if you have a stand-up cabinet or a sit-down cabinet, there's more than enough to go around. Now let me show you my Neo Cab. Okay, here we are at my Neo Geo Cab. And there you can see the JAMA harness that's connected to my four slot Neo board. And you can see how the wires branch out. Some go that way. Those are the ones heading towards the monitor, the speakers, stuff like that. Some go down there. That's for um, like the coin door, um, the on off switch, and stuff like that. You got others that go over here. And these are connected to the joysticks, the buttons, etc. So it's really not that difficult. I know it may look overwhelming, but just go to that website, look at the JAMA connector chart, and basically, you know, if, if you get the wires mixed up, just look at that chart. Look for the wire that you need, look at the color, then go towards the end and look for that same color. So, you know, you can see there's various colors, um, various colored wires, and you'll eventually get it. It's not that hard. Uh, one thing you may want to do is if a certain button is not working or a certain movement on the joystick is not working, um, you pop open your control panel, everything looks good, you look at your JAMA connector, everything looks good there, look for the ground wire. The ground wire is usually black, and if a button's not working, that could mean that just the ground wire is not connected. Uh, that's a simple fix, you just reconnect it. So there you are. If you have any questions or um, anything I can help you with, feel free to ask.